Hi, welcome back to another video. Vital at every age for healthy bones? This is because bone is a living tissue and is constantly changing and adapting to the stress you place on it, and gets stronger when you use them. Not only can exercises improve your bone health, it can also increase muscle strength, coordination and balance, and lead to a better overall health. As a child, exercise plays an important part in making our bones bigger and stronger. But as we get older, we start to lose bone strength. That is why keeping up with exercise as you age is important. It strengthens your muscles and keeps your bones strong, making them less likely to break by maintaining bone strength. Watch till the end of this video and I will show you the best exercises to enhance your bone health. If you like this video and find this useful, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is completely free of charge, but will have the channel to grow. Thank you. Like muscle, bone is a living tissue that responds to exercise by becoming stronger. Young women and men who exercise regularly generally achieve greater peak bone mass, the maximum bone density and strength, than those who do not. For most people, bone mass peaks during the third decade of life. After that time, we can begin to lose bone. Women and men older than the age of 20 can help to prevent bone loss with regular exercises. Exercising can also help us to maintain muscle strength, coordination and balance, which in turn will help to prevent falls and related fractures. This is especially important for the older adults and people who have been diagnosed with osteoporosis. So, what are the best exercises for your bones? Well, weight-bearing and resistant exercises are the best for your bones. Weight-bearing exercises force you to work against gravity. They include walking, hiking, jogging, climbing stairs, playing tennis, and dancing. Resistance exercises such as lifting weights can also strengthen bones. Other exercises such as swimming and bicycling can help build and maintain strong muscles and have excellent cardiovascular benefits, but they are not the best way to exercise your bones. So for bones to stay strong, you have to give them work to do. For exercises to be most effective at keeping bones strong, you need to combine weight-bearing exercises with impact and muscle strengthening exercises. And variety is good for bones, which you can achieve with different movements, directions and speeds. In an activity like dancing, for example, short bursts of activity may be best, such as running followed by a jog or jogging followed by a walk. So what are weight-bearing exercises with impact? Well, you are weight-bearing when you are standing, with your weight of your whole body pulling down on your skeleton. Weight-bearing exercises with impact involves being on your feet and adding an additional force or jolt through your skeleton. These could be anything from walking to star jumps. You can get weight-bearing exercise with impact by taking part in some physical activities, sports or by doing specific exercises. The level of impact varies depending on the activity. Here are some examples of low-impact exercises like walking and stair climbing and some moderate-impact exercises like dancing, jogging and running and low-level jumping and some high-impact exercises like basketball, volleyball, star jumps and high-level jumps. So, how about muscle strengthening exercises? Well, when your muscles pull on your bones, it gives your bones work to do. Your bones respond by renewing themselves and maintaining or improving their strength. As your muscles get stronger, they pull harder, meaning your bones are more likely to become stronger. To strengthen your muscles, you need to move them against some resistance. Increasing muscle resistance can be done by adding a load for muscles to work against, such as a weight in your hand, using a resistance band, or using your body weight during a push-up. As your muscles get stronger and you find the movements easier, you can gradually increase the intensity of resistance by increasing the weight of what you lift. This is known as progressive overload and research studies have shown that this is likely to be the best type of muscle strengthening exercise for bone strength. Now the question is how often do you need to exercise to help your bone and muscle strength? Well, let's have a look at the weight bearing exercises with impact. For those with or without osteoporosis, about 50 minutes of moderate impact on most days. This could be jumping, skipping, jogging or hopping. If you have spinal fracture or unable to do moderate exercises, 
20 minutes of low impact exercises on most days. And if you are unable to do any exercises at all, aim to avoid prolonged sitting, stand up for a few minutes every hour. So how about muscle strengthening exercises? First, exercise two to three days each week on non-consecutive days. Aim for 20 to 30 minutes working on exercises that target your upper body, lower body and core. Work gradually with resistance bands and weights. Initially aim to perform 3 sets of 8 to 12 repetitions. Remember, any exercise you do for your bone health should be in addition to any exercises you do for your general health, as recommended by the government. If you have health conditions such as heart troubles, high blood pressure, diabetes or obesity, or if you are age 40 or older, check with your doctors before you begin regular exercise program. Listen to your body. When starting an exercise routine, you may have some muscle soreness and discomfort at the beginning. But this should not be painful or last for more than 48 hours. If it does, you may be working too hard and need to ease up. Stop exercising if you have any chest pain or discomfort and see your doctors before your next exercise session. And if you have osteoporosis, ask your doctor which activities are safe for you. If you have a low bone mass, experts recommend that you protect your spine by avoiding exercises or activities that flex, bend or twist it. Furthermore, you should avoid high impact exercises to lower the risk of breaking a bone. You may also wish to consult with an exercise specialist to learn the proper progression of activities, how to stretch and strengthen your muscles safely and how to correct your poor postural habits. See you next week. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge but will help the channel to grow. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.